This is my newest addendum video to my Naruto Mysteries Iceberg video I made earlier in the year. In my last video, I talked about the theory that Itachi was working as an informant for Jiraiya on the Akatsuki. This was because I forgot to add it to my original Iceberg video, so I ended up correcting that mistake by making a separate video on that. I wanted to give a more definitive answer to that topic as it seemed to have been floating around the community for years without much analysis. This mystery is also very similar in that the question has been brought up for years, but no analysis has been put into it. Whenever someone brings up the question as to why Madara was brought back so young, the knee-jerk reaction is always just that Kabuto said Madara was a special at Tensei. That's the extent of the discussion, really. Just saying Kabuto made him special really just rephrases the question, because I think most people know that Kabuto said that anyway. So the better question is how did Kabuto modify Madara's Edo Tensei body in a way that would make him young again? I've always thought this answer was obvious, but I'm not the first person to give this answer. After diving deeper into this subject, I did actually find some inconsistencies in my theory, so I will address those after stating what I think the obvious surface level answer is as to why Madara was reanimated as a young man while Hiruzen was reanimated old. So let's go back to when Kabuto made that often quoted statement. When Kabuto first summoned Madara in the war, he began talking to him through Mu's Edo Tensei body. Madara questions how Kabuto knew so much about him, and initially he tells Madara that his Edo Tensei was made special, and that he was now stronger than he was when he was alive. But then this conversation is cut short by Gara attacking them, and Madara responds by attacking the Alliance himself. After that brief scuffle, Madara rejoins Mu and tries to interrogate Kabuto again. Kabuto once again responded that he made him stronger, and specifically says that he can now achieve a piece of the Sage of the Six Paths power. Madara responds by dropping a meteor on the Shinobi Alliance, and in the aftermath of that, Madara finally had the time to get the answers from Kabuto. After some questioning, Madara looked under his shirt to see what Kabuto did to him, and after that, Madara seemed to cease being so hostile to Kabuto. The only thing that was grafted onto Madara's chest was Hashirama cells, and this is also the only netted change that Kabuto made to Madara's body. After three separate occasions of Madara asking Kabuto what he did to him, he totally drops that question right after seeing the Hashirama cells on his chest. There's also no other indication at all that Kabuto did something else to Madara or did anything else to uh, any of his other reanimations. So the only logical conclusion on the surface would be that these Hashirama cells reversed Madara's age by several decades. It's the only thing that separates Madara from any other reanimation, so it's the only possibility really. But I'm not going to stop there. I want to discover how probable it is that Hashirama cells have the ability to reverse someone's age. Hashirama cells have been used in many ways, but there are three instances that I think are relevant to this mystery. Firstly, Madara did implant Hashirama cells onto himself after his fight with Hashirama. He was still young when he did that, but he ended up aging at a normal rate anyway. However, this looked to be a smaller amount of Hashirama cells than the amount that Kabuto gave him. Obito is another person who had Hashirama cells for decades, but failed to stop aging at a normal rate. He also had half of his body replaced with Hashirama cells, so we can't just say this is a size issue like it was with Madara. However, Hashirama also fully grew into an adult like Obito did, and his body is technically 100% Hashirama cells. So it might just be a case of Hashirama cells preventing you from growing old rather than growing up, period. The closest match we have to Eta Madara receiving Hashirama cells would be a Donzo implanting Hashirama cells into his Sharingan arm. It looks to be possibly an even greater amount than Madara received, but even if it was not, they still both got enough to have Hashirama's face on their body, Donzo having it on his shoulder and Madara having it on his chest. Donzo's operation was done by Orochimaru, and Madara's was done by Kabuto. So there seems to be a long list of similarities between these occurrences. But for Donzo, he never became decades younger as a result. One thing I will point out is that Donzo is the only character to reach his 70s and not have his hair go white or gray. Hiruzen, the village elders, and Onoki all had their hair notably aged in part 1 and part 2, but Donzo stayed black despite being in the same range as all of them. So while he may have stopped his aging, he did not seem to reverse it despite Orochimaru doing the same operation that Kabuto did to Madara. So we may have a bit of a problem here. There's only one change that we see Kabuto make to Madara's Edo Tensei body, but when that same operation was done on an, on an alive person, it did not yield the same hypothetical results. The only other instance I find compatible to this situation is Tsunade's ability to reverse aging, but this is also a bit of a mystery. When Jiraiya first speaks about Tsunade Naruto, he speculates that she was using a jutsu to control her age. He even says that he thinks she can change her age by decades at will. 
I doubt this is a case of her just using the transformation jutsu though. Anytime that's used, we see a big smoke cloud both when it's initiated and ended, and we never see that happen to Tsunade when she suddenly grows old at the end of a fight. So I don't think this is a case of her changing her appearance, but rather her changing her biological age. Although we never get a full look at her during these moments where she ages, she does seem to age a lot based off the small glimpses of her. In fact, I would compare it to how old Madara looked when he found Obito, and by then he could have been around 100. If this was just a change in physical appearance, then Tsunade wouldn't be able to move so well in Part 1 and Part 2. Here's in its 70 was noted to have significantly physically weakened due to age, Onoki had severe back problems when he was pushing 80, and Madara was practically bedridden when he was whatever age he was. So there's no way this was just a transformation in appearance if Tsunade was able to fight with no noted problems. The reason I bring up Tsunade in this conversation is that she's the only other instance of someone reversing their age, and she's made up of 25% Hashirama cells for what it's worth. The reason why she had aged so much was because of how many times she had used her mitotic regeneration to regenerate through wounds in battle. Considering that one-fourth of her genes came from Hashirama, you could argue that this is why she's the only known person to be able to reverse her age. So while it's not a perfect example, this is still technically an example of someone with Hashirama cells reversing their age by decades. But you could say this is a reach, and her ability to reverse her biological age is just the result of her being a genius when it comes to medicine. I personally think this is the result of both of those things being true. There's one last idea I will bring up before giving my concluding thoughts on this theory. Although Danzo was not able to reverse his age under similar circumstances, these circumstances were still noted to be different. When Madara showed off his Hashirama cells to the five Kage, Kabuto notes that this was far different than what Orochimaru did with Danzo. But then immediately after that he says that this is because it was Madara this time around, not because the procedure was any different. So while he's not directly saying that the procedures were different, excluding the subject, I speculate that they were. Many years had passed since these two operations, considering that Orochimaru likely gave Donzo his Hashirama cells while he was still in the village. When Sai first approached Orochimaru and mentioned Donzo in the Tenshi Bridge arc, Orochimaru jokingly said that he was surprised that Donzo was still alive. That implies that years had passed since they had worked together, which also means that years had passed since Kabuto put Hashirama cells on Madara's body. So I do believe that the science behind this process had improved uh, vastly. We know that Kabuto's and Orochimaru's Eta Tensei in the Warwick was much stronger than Orochimaru's in Part 1 based off of how much stronger Hashirama and Tobirama were in Eta Tensei in the Warwick when compared to Konoha Crush. So if that jutsu had been vastly improved, then certainly their ability to use Hashirama cells could have improved as well. Again, Kabuto did say that Madara's implantation of Hashirama cells was far different than Donzo's. We see with Donzo that he was likely able to stop the aging process, so it's possible that with more years of research that Kabuto figured out how to fully reverse it. This all ties to the fact that Tsunade is 25% related to Hashirama and is the only other instance of someone reversing their age. Perhaps due to Kabuto increasing his knowledge in Hashirama cells, he was able to figure out how to use them to reverse someone's age just like how Tsunade was able to reverse her own. That's really all my evidence though. I know it's a bit convoluted because we're working with so little, but I think it boils down to this. Kabuto emphasized to Madara that he made him stronger and that his Eta Tensei was special. Madara questioned what this meant three separate times before dropping it once he saw that he had Hashirama cells on his chest. The only known modification we see Kabuto make to Madara's Eta Tensei body is those Hashirama cells, so logically this is the only reason why someone like Madara was reanimated young while someone like Hiruzen was reanimated old. But there's some flaws in that logic if we read in between the lines. Donzo was unable to reverse his aging and receiving Hashirama cells from Orochi Mario, but he likely was able to stop it since he's the only person to be 70 years old and not have gray or white hair in the series. Tsunade is the only other instance of someone reversing their age in this series, and this is likely because of her being related to Hashirama and also being a medical genius. This presents the possibility that in the many years that passed since Orochimaru gave Donzo Hashirama cells, Kabuto could have furthered that research to the point where it not only stopped aging but even reversed it. He even says himself at one point that Madara receiving Hashirama cells was far different than when Orochimaru gave some to Donzo. Bottom line is that Kabuto emphasized to Madara that he made his Edo Tensei special from the others, and the only thing we see he did that was special was add Hashirama cells to Madara's body. However which way you want to explain it, this is ultimately just another case of Hashirama cells shenanigans. This was the best estimation I could make with the information I had. So the next time someone online asks why Madara is reanimated young, 
and everyone just responds with that Kabuto made him special. Consider bringing up that Hashirama cells were the only thing that separated Madara from the other Edo Tensei. As always, I'm open to ideas for videos, so let me know in the comments if there's any mystery you want me to investigate or any other video idea you want, want to see me create. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. Comment something if you have something to say, and thank y'all for watching. I guess I'll see y'all next time.